What's up, you guys? I am back. I am so sorry for the delayed gratification and the time that it has been for me to get back in action. Um, some of you may know that my husband actually does this for a living, um, does videography, and uh, that means that he needs the camera. So I haven't had an opportunity to jump on here. Hey, Bella. Come here. This is Bella, my parents' dog. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. I, uh, I wanna pick back up where we left off from the last video, um, getting um, to the events leading up to my surgery. I went to the Philadelphia Hand Center conference, not only for education, but I knew that there would be hundreds of hand therapists there that could give me advice. Not only that, but I knew the speakers that would be talking would be doctors who I could get some ideas off of um, for my own personal gratification. Um, so uh, I searched around for like the first day um, for the right doctor who knew enough about Madelungs, who had treated Madelungs, not only knew about it, but you gotta find a doctor who has actually performed surgery on somebody with matter lungs. And I specifically wanted somebody that had seen kids, that had seen adolescents, had seen people my age in their 30s, and people older. So after talking to all of these CHTs, which is a certified hand therapist, I um, kept hearing one name, and it, it was Dr. Osman, Dr. Osman, Dr. Osman. You need to go talk to him. So, uh, the last time that he spoke, I think it was like the third day of the conference, and um, ran up to him, I won't ever forget it, he's getting ready to leave, ran up to him and I introduced my name really quick, I said, give me two minutes of your time, um, have, you ever, have you ever seen anybody with this condition, like mine, um, specifically? You could tell it didn't surprise him. He kind of held my hand, looked at it a little bit. Um, after I asked him some questions about my age, the outcome, what what would I be looking at down further uh, further down the road, he said to me, "I think I can help you." So, um, at my appointment, my X-rays revealed two different, complete different approaches for the corrective surgery. My left one. Uh, was, which was more deformed looking, which was more um, complex, a more complex surgery. And my left one was a more simple surgery, but my, my um, I'm sorry, my right one was more painful. So he wasn't pushy at all. He said, you know, you decide. I kind of weighed out the pros and cons. He explained to me the difference in each of them and I chose to go with my right. And um, that was only because it was more painful. Um, and it, I think hearing the more less complicated surgery was appealing to me with um, knowing that I had two little ones at home to take care of. So um, he left it up to me and I chose my right. Uh, the pain was my main goal from the very get go, from the time that I was a teenager, it was always about the pain for me, and it never really cared too much about how it looked. So, um, come surgery day, uh, I did receive the nerve block, which I I recommend for anyone who is thinking about or considering to get this surgery done. Um, they they block the nerve and they insert a needle through your neck, and essentially it just numbs your whole arm kind of like you're paralyzed but I highly recommend it because it was a saving grace when I woke up from surgery um, when that wore off, wore off it's really hard to keep up with the pain from that point on like staying on top of the pain I think is the hardest thing the first 10 days um, but um, icing was crucial I have a couple of pictures for you guys to take a look at here is where I really depended on my support group and my village of people to help me keep keep up with the icing, elevating, um, 
because that first acute phase, you um, you really can't do much with your hand. So take a look at some of the pictures and videos that I was able to save uh, from those days. Okay, so I also wanted to share with some of you um, the specific procedure that I had done. So I had the dome radial osteotomy, um, corrective surgery. So I have two scars. I have one here where I have a plate and then I also have one, um, let me try to get a little bit closer so you can see, um, on my, the inside of my forearm. This one was actually the most sensitive. Um, so yeah, I have a plate in here as well. I also had um, a muscle lengthening done because of my forearm being so bowed for so long. Um, it's essentially like a contracture, basically where your muscle gets um, shortened from lack of being stretched, right? Because your bones, your bones bowed, it's shortened, it doesn't go in the direction that normal people's arms go so your muscle gets shorter. So he lengthened that, and he also did a, an arthroscopy, which is basically where they take a scope and they go inside and they clean out like the tendon or the ligament that's, um, mine was my, my TFCC, it was all kind of just mushy and crushed a little bit from my bones rubbing up on it. So he did that while he was in there. So essentially I had four different procedures, uh, four different surgeries, if you will, done. And I think that's why it took a little bit longer. It was about four, a half, four and a half to five hours um, that I was um, under. So that's what I had done. That isn't always the case from my understanding, but here's what it looks like when it's all done. <laughs>